Kudus, Nairobi. Now, Interior CS uh, Professor Kithura Kindiki will next week announce curfew in several counties in northern Kenya hit by banditry. Some of the affected counties include Marsabit, Isiolo, Samburu, and others, where additional national police reservists would be deployed. Kindiki announced this Friday when he presided over the passport parade of 140 national police reservists in Mero County. Clement Masombo reports. Position while the rest of the team that is on there. The government, through the Ministry of Interior and National Government Administration, has announced a full-fledged war on banditry beginning next year. Speaking during a passport parade of 140 National Police Reservists in Meru County, CS Kithure Kindiki said security officers will commence operations in parts of the eastern region as an extension to the ongoing Malizo Halif operation in the North Rift counties. Na wiki ijayo, serikali tatangaza sehemu ziada katika eneo la mashariki ya kaskazini, ikiongeza sehemu ambazo tutaweka operation na tuweke curfew katika sehemu ya Isiolo, Samboro na Marsabe. Kindiki said by adding the number of NPR officers, the government is focused on completely eradicating cases of livestock theft while also giving an assurance that all stolen livestock will be returned to their owners. Lakini maneno ya operation ya kiusalama atutaki wanasiasa kuingilia operation at least 14 counties have been affected by banditry in the country. However, the government says cases of livestock theft in the affected areas have reduced by 70% in the last one year. Since February 2023, the government has deployed more than 3,000 security officers in the North Rift. And while 2023 was a year of flipping, the war against bandits and livestock wrestling, 2024 is going to be the year of sustaining the victory against livestock wrestlers and bandits. CS Kendiki says the government is set to announce a curfew in the affected areas of Marsabit, Isiolo and Samburu counties from next week to facilitate a successful operation to reclaim the stolen livestock. Clement Masombo, KTN News.